Hello and thank you for checking out the video today. I'm Glenn Kay of Silent Takeover, Dolphin Shavers and Silent Shavers. And today we're going to be having a look at a Town Hall 11 Drag Bat Attack. Before we get started, if you find this video useful, then please give me a like or comment below. And also feel free to subscribe to the channel where you'll find more replays and content on Town Hall 8 through to Town Hall 12. If you'd like to join me in Clash, then check out the description. You'll find the clan tags and requirements for joining us, as well as a link for the Silent Takeover Discord. And on to the attack itself. Today's attack was completed by Stan. So if you're watching Stan, thank you very much for allowing me to use the replay for the video. And he was attacking number seven. So let's have a look at the base. The first thing that should draw your attention if you're looking to hit this base with air, and in particular the bats, is this section right here. We've got the eagle and four ADs all very close to each other and they're only protected by the two whiz towers when it comes to splash um, and if you're well versed in the bat spells you will know that whiz towers do an awful lot of damage to them in fact stopping the attack dead so how is Stan going to hit this base? let's check out his army composition if you look across the bottom, you will see three archers, seven loons, nine dragons, one baby drag, a minion, a lava hound, the stone slammer, which was full of loons, all of the heroes, two rage, one freeze, six bat spells and a further two CC bat spells. Now the first thing that Stan is going to do is he's going to work on creating a funnel and he will do this with the king and queen, one on each side. So one in the, almost in the top corner and one in the left hand corner, which will then begin to clear all of these trash buildings down either side creating a clear pathway for the dragons. So if I just zoom in a little bit, this portion here is what would be left for the drags to work into. Stan will then place down his dragons and loons. Now a quick pointer with this is I would always encourage you to put the loons down first. That way they will trigger any air targeting defenses and protect your dragons and then the dragons in after that but as it turns out this works out okay so the drags go down and then the loons and then Stan will also use the lava hound which will help keep these inferno towers distracted while the drags move in then very swiftly the second part of the attack will start the stone slammer will come in from the left towards this mortar and then Stan will place or unleash the bat bomb on the eagle. Now you'll notice Stan's order for this is freeze, rage and then the bats. Especially since the nerf, the order that I would encourage would be rage, bats and then freeze. Um, and the reason for this is the bats attack has been slowed down. And so using the freeze last will help give them a little bit more protection while they begin to do their damage. The, the bats will then end up clearing almost all of this south side of the base. And the loons from the slammer will actually end up going northwards and they end up taking out this inferno which was left by the drags. And then all that's left after this is a bit of clean up in the right hand corner but Stan has more than enough troops to deal with this. So let's check out the replay.
And there you have it, the Town Hall 11 Drag Bat Attack. Now you may need to watch that replay once or twice as the transition from drags to the second part of the attack with the bats and the slammer does happen very quickly. But that's a credit to Stan for being able to, to multitask like that during attack, an attack, which isn't easy. It's a nice one, Stan. And that's it for today. So if again, if you found this video useful, please give me a like or comment and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, keep on clashing.